what is going on? It is tough out there being a rideshare driver. In this video, I'm going to break down a video on YouTube of one of our very own Lyft drivers getting pummeled, right? Getting spit on, right? In his own, in his own vehicle. All right, I'm going to give you a literal blow by blow of what transpired. And stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you a few ideas I have on ways that you can diffuse the situation so you don't take a few to the jaw. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. Drinking my morning Nespresso. Happy Friday morning to you. And in this video, we're going to talk about uh, safety, driver safety. A little background. So look, we are experiencing a pandemic and it's been going on for a while and people are angry and people are afraid and people are desperate and people don't have money and people who have money are losing money and a lot of us who have been getting $600 a week are now not getting $600 a week. So uh, emotions are running high. So as a driver, you have to be really sensitive to that because uh, that's 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 what's out there right so what we're gonna look at is something that happened recently where a passenger got very upset that she didn't want to wear a mask and she got taken to the wrong destination and uh, I'm gonna break that down for you right now all right so let's start with the article caught on camera passenger punches spits at Lyft driver after being asked to wear face covering all right. Uh, he said he took her to the destination that it said on the app. Stephanie Kubias, the dri driver's wife, said she was already mad because of the mask. So he had to ask her to put the mask on. So she got more mad because apparently the location he took her wasn't the one she had requested. But when he looked at the app, that was the location. So the dry so she put in the wrong location. Um, then you see her uh, shouting and punching the driver multiple times. Um, with this ongoing pandemic, Kubius and his wife were concerned about his health. Hopefully she wasn't positive, and he doesn't come out positive as well as other health conditions, his wife said. Now he's having problems with his eye, you know, headaches, right? And uh, he wants, you know, justice and for this to stop, his wife said. It's not fair, <laughs> okay? And uh, Lyft's response, safety is fundamental to Lyft. The behavior shown in the video is unacceptable and no place on the Lyft platform. Upon learning of the incident, we removed the rider from the Lyft community. We have been in touch with the driver to offer support and in contact with law enforcement to assist with the investigation. Okay, let's take a look at the video now. All right, I'm gonna start the video. Um, this is a news station. She calls it a nightmare. Check it out. A nightmare ride for a Lyft driver. He nightmare. was punched by a passenger who then apparently tried to spit on him. The attack happened when she refused to wear a face mask inside of his car. KCAL 9's Candace Crone has this shocking video. Shocking. Okay, watch this. Oh, Ooh. Dash video captured a Lyft driver getting pummeled by a passenger. That's a pretty hard shot. She's done that before. It's kind of like a, kind of with the side of her fist. She went like that. They're going to show it four different times, right? If it bleeds, it leads, right? So <laughs> let's continue. Look at him, man. He's stunned, right? You get hit. It's If you've ever been in a fight, you know, you get hit. You're, there's a little bit of a stun effect, right? Especially on the side of your head. You get hit here in the temple. It can daze you. You can get dazed. He's dazed, okay? And he makes some sounds, too. Listen. Pedro Cubia says it all started after he picked the woman up on Rosecrans and Sean Torrance last month and noticed she wasn't wearing a mask. When he asked her to put one on, he says things escalated from there. Ooh. So he said what happened was he took her to the destination that... Okay, now look at her. Look at her. See? She's not wearing the mask properly. Y'all have uh, gotten on my case a little bit about talking about wearing it that way. I want to tell you I, I got it. I got it. I'm not doing that anymore. Full facial covering. I bought some nice black, black masks. She should be uh, having that over her nose. I get I it. On the app. Uh, she was already mad because of the mask, so she got more mad because apparently the location he took her wasn't the one that she had requested. But when he looked on the app, 
the app that was a location. Kubia says he didn't. So he did everything right. Yeah. You got to ask him to put the put the mask on because you don't want to get sick and die or bring it home to your family. And then she put in the wrong thing. She was having a bad day. I mean, she's just she's off the charts, angry. And uh, these you got to be careful. You just got to be careful because in these times, people are on high, high alert. All right. Start recording the commotion until after the woman refused to put on a face covering. Okay, you see how he did that? He pointed to the dash cam. Normally, that would diffuse the situation because um, she would she would realize it logically. This is not a good thing. But no, she's not even paying attention. She's too. It, she's in it. She's just in it. She's over the edge. And started shouting. He ordered her out and was smacked as he reached for his charger in the back What's seat. This? Don't touch me. In the video, you can also oh, see the woman hat. allegedly spit towards him as oh, she got out of the car. Did With you the see that? Pandemic, he and his wife are now worried about Okay, let's see if we can get okay. a slow... I can't do slow motion, but let's see. Woman allegedly spit towards him. Oh, oh, see that? Spittle. Let's see if we can get that. Video, okay. you can also see the woman allegedly spit towards him. Oh, there it is. You see? See all that? That's spit right there. That could be COVID-19 spit for all we know. And she's just spewing all that into the back seat of this guy's car. Probably the worst thing that she did was that. All right. You won't see that on any other videos. That uh, screen capture of the spit. All right. Let's continue. And as she got out of the car, with the ongoing pandemic, he and his wife are now worried about his health. Don't worry. You're going to see him get hit two more times. This, uh, radio, this TV station really, uh, really wanted you to see that. The power in her punch. Man. Hopefully she wasn't positive and he doesn't come out positive as well as other health condition now. He's having problems with his eye, you know, headaches, torrents. With his eye. Okay, so he got hit on the side of the head. So, yeah, so that makes sense, right? That that could have, you know, and she, she maybe her, her finger, you know, could have hit the side of his face and, and, and impacted his eye. And headaches, yeah, sure. I would think it would have hurt his jaw. If you ever got hit hard in your jaw, it can really, like, knock it out of place a little bit which can really be a problem and that can cause headaches um so yeah so totally legit that he's um suffering from those conditions because she's got some force man look at her look at those teeth she's got her teeth barred <laughs> she's going for it it's police wow. Are wow. The incident. in a statement lift said wow the behavior shown in the video okay. is unacceptable this is what lift no says place on the lift platform upon learning of the incident we removed the rider from the lift community all right, let's just give it up for Lyft there. Yeah, standing for the driver. Um, the behavior shown in the video is unacceptable. No place. Good. Good. I think I think we can all agree. She lost her her right to ride with Lyft. She should probably just start using Uber, but she's off the Lyft platform. All right. The company also oh oh, see, they just keep showing it again and again. Speak out in hopes Man, that the driver doesn't have to go through okay. what he did. Watch his reaction to it. Oh, wait. Kubia says he we removed the okay, watch, from watch the his lift reaction community. to it. The company also said it's cooperating with the Did you hear that? He goes, Kubia says he ah. decided to speak to community. The company also said it's cooperating ah. with authorities. Kubia says he didn't. We removed the rider from Pretty the lift intense. community. The company also said it's cooperating ah. with authorities. Kubia says he decided to speak out in hopes another driver doesn't have to go through what he did. He wants, you know, just... Okay, so... He told her to get out of the car. She wouldn't do it. He reached in to grab, a, grab his phone or something, and and she she whacked his arm. Then he got in the car again, and that's when she took the two big whacks, got out, and spit. Okay, that was a, uh, a little confusing, but I, f I figured out the progression there. System for this to stop because it's not fair. Wow. Oh! Crone, there it is again. News. Just brutal. Just brutal. All right, so what are the key takeaways here? First key takeaway is make friends with your drive, with your passenger, right? Start a conversation, say hi. Be, be friendly. It's very difficult for somebody to hit you when, when they're a friend, okay? Second, be really aware of what I said at the beginning of the video. It is a tough time, right? Especially this last week and, and the week before with this, um, uh, FPUC money coming to an end. Doesn't seem like it's going to get resolved anytime soon. 
That's stressing out like 25 million people. Good chance that person might be in your car. Second, next thing you can do is get a dash cam. You notice how he pointed at the dash cam. Let the passenger know there is a dash cam if you have a dash cam. And if you don't have a dash cam, get a dash cam and then point to the dash cam. That will uh, deter most people from doing anything like that. And finally, if something like this does happen, report it to Lyft exactly what this driver did. Get that person who's out of control off the platform. Don't want to see him again. Don't want to take any more shots. Don't want to be spit upon, right? Take care of yourself, all right? That's the bottom line. Take care of yourself. All right, thank you very much for watching the video. This is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. Um, give, the, give it a thumbs up, that helps the algorithm so that more people can watch this and more people can be prepared for the, the shots and the spit, all right? If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, subscribe and uh, uh, sign yourself up for notifications so that we can let you know when the next YouTube Live with Harry himself, Harry the Rideshare Guy Campbell. All right, we do these YouTube lives and they're really fun. A lot of people get on and you can ask all kinds of questions. All right, so uh, see you next time. Go out, have a great day. If you're driving, be safe, be safe. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.